Hey guys, in this video I'll be teaching you how to draw hair. This is just how I draw hair and depending on the style that you are going for, um, drawing hair will be obviously different. But I'll just show you how I approach hair, well in this um, painting at least. So first I like to start off by blocking out the main shadows and mid-tones and highlights. I use our lasso tool and then just outline the shapes of the hair that you can see in the video. So when I want to choose the places to select the hair, I like to look at the reference photo and see the natural flow of the hair and try to imitate that um, using the selection tool. Then after selecting that area, I like to fill it in using a bucket tool and just like before, just look at the reference photo and see what the main colour in that area is and just fill it accordingly. Um, I like to keep all the shadows one colour, all the mid-tones another colour and all the highlights to be filled in another colour. So there's some cohesiveness between all of the different colours. And it's not just randomly picked out colours. After that, I like to go into each section and start to add the shadows and highlights within that section. So you can see me doing that here. So you can see me adding tons of detail into that one strand of hair and at the end of the drawing I ended up just going over that part and um, erasing all that detail that I put into it because I think it looked a bit too messy and didn't really fit with the rest of the piece. For the rest of the hair I ended up just um, putting in the main shadows and highlights and not worrying too much about all the detail and fine strands of hair. So for all of this, I just used a round brush that was a default in Clip Studio Paint. So after that, I like to go in with the same round brush but a smaller size and add in individual strands of hair. Um, not too much and then with an even smaller round brush, I like to add in some details like flyaway hairs and white highlights which you can see in my drawing. When I draw hair I like to make sure that the layers are easily distinguishable so it doesn't look like a flat sheet of hair just surrounding the head. So that's the reason why I like to use the lasso tool to select those sections and so the layers are established from the beginning and you can build up on top of that. So I also like to make sure the shadows are dark enough to how it needs to be and that there are highlights. And this is all so the hair doesn't look flat.
boring if you still have any questions just comment them below and yeah I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in my next one bye Thank you.